The Semantic Brand Score, SBS, is a novel metric designed to assess the importance of one or more brands in different contexts and whenever it is possible to analyze textual data, even big data. The advantage with respect to some traditional measures is that the SBS does not rely on surveys administered to small samples of consumers. The measure can be calculated on any sorts of text documents, such as newspapers, uh, emails, tweets, posts on online forums, blogs and social media. The idea is to capture insights and honest signals through the analysis of big textual data. We want to look at spontaneous expressions of consumers or other brand stakeholders, and we can collect uh, from places where they normally discuss, for example, a travel forum if studying the importance of museum brands. This has several advantages, such as reducing the biases induced by the use of questionnaires, where interviewees know that they are being observed. The SBS can also be adapted to different languages and to study the importance of specific words or set of words, not necessarily brands. Indeed, with the concept of brand, we can be flexible. By brand, we could intend the name of a politician, a set of words that represent a concept, or, for example, some products. We could study pizza, pasta and ice cream to see what is more convenient if opening an Italian restaurant abroad. Or we could choose a set of keywords that represent uh, the concept of innovation or a corporate core value. The measure was used to evaluate the transition dynamics that occur when a new brand replaces an old one. It is also useful to relate the importance of a brand to that of its competitors or to analyze importance time trends for a single brand. In some applications, the score proved to be useful for forecasting purposes. For example, as, as link has been found uh, between brand importance of political candidates in online news and election outcomes, or between the importance of museum brands and trends in the number of their visitors. The SBS measures brand importance and it does it along three dimensions, which are prevalence, diversity and connectivity. Indeed, the metric was partially inspired by well-known conceptualizations of brand equity and by the constructs of brand image and brand awareness. Prevalence measures the frequency of use of the brand name the number of time a brand is directly mentioned, and it's the most close dimension to brand awareness. Diversity measures the diversity of the words associated with a brand. Connectivity represents the brand's ability to bridge connection between other words or group of words in the text. We can see them also as discourse topics. So we could have 10,000 tweets that mention the brand Pepsi, but only say, I love Pepsi. In this case, prevalence would be high, but diversity would be low, as the brand name is always mentioned in association with the same words. On the other hand, I could have a brand frequently mentioned in an heterogeneous discourse, thus having high prevalence and diversity. However, that brand could have low connectivity if it is not well related to the different discourse topics. That could be the case of a company only mentioned with regards to its stock price and not when talking about products or commercial offers. To have a high semantic brand score, which means high brand importance, we want a brand that is frequently mentioned as a rich image and is embedded at the core of the discourse we care about. The calculation of the semantic brand score requires combining methods and tools of text mining and social network analysis. This figure illustrates the main preliminary steps which comprise data collection, text preprocessing and the transformation of texts into networks, considering word co-occurrences. This is the main innovation behind the semantic brand score. There is a web app named SBSBI that we developed to calculate the semantic brand score and other brand intelligence analytics. We share access with researchers interested in using the semantic brand scores and with other scholars. Or you can also look at our Python tutorials. 
On this channel, you find a set of short videos like this one that explore some of the reapers produced by the app. To know more, you can visit the website semanticbrandscore.com, read the scientific papers related to the semantic brand score, or see the other videos in this playlist.